गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इन दिस टॉपिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नो अबाउट चार्ज ओके इन प्रीवियस लेसन ऑलरेडी वी लर्न अबाउट द चार्ज चार्ज इज ए फिजिकल क्वांटिटी व्हिच इज अफेक्टेड बाय बोथ मैग्नेटिक एंड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड्स now in this topic the charge must be placed at rest it represent as electrostatics it represent as electrostatics when charges are at rest it must be represent as electrostatics If charge is in motion, if charge is in motion, it must be divided as two types. One is move with constant velocity. Move with constant velocity. and one more is move with variable variable velocity okay if charge is in motion it must be divided as two types one is charge must be move with constant velocity and charge must be moves with variable velocity if charge is in motion with constant velocity it is known as current electricity it is known as current electricity okay if charge is in motion with constant velocity it is known as current electricity what we are discussing that chapter here okay if charge is in motion with variable velocity it is known as electromagnetics it is known as electromagnetics or electromagnetism okay if charge is in motion with variable velocity is known as electromagnetism and one more if charge is in motion with accelerated motion it is also be known as electromagnetism when our velocity will be varied acceleration it can generates so if charge is in motion with variable velocity or accelerated velocity accelerated motion it is known as electromagnetism okay here charge is in motion we are discussing with the constant velocity then it is known as current electricity today we are discussing about the current electricity lesson in this one first basic fundamental what is electric current what is electric current okay anyone can define what is a electric current in question forms or how they will ask in examination what is a current electric current electric current or what is define electric current like that we need to be know about the definition here electric current is defined as the rate of the rate of flow of charge flow of charge through a conductor the rate of flow of charge through a conductor is known as electric current the rate of flow of charge through a conductor is known as electric current it represent with it represent with i here rate rate means by t flow of charge it means q so i equal to q by t 
फॉर्मूला विल बी हैज आई इक्वल टू क्यू बाई डी इलेक्ट्रिक करंट यूनिट्स आर नथिंग बट एम्पियर आर सिंपली वी विल राइट एज कैपिटल ये ओके एम्पियर आर कैपिटल ये वन मोर टाइम आई विल रिपीट दिस डेफिनेशन वॉट इज इलेक्ट्रिक करंट द इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इज डिफाइंड एज द रेट ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ चार्ज थ्रू ए कंडक्टर ओके आई इक्वल टू क्यू बाई डी इट्स यूनिट्स आर एम्पियर ओके इन दट इलेक्ट्रिक करंट वी विल लर्न अबाउट इंस्टेंटेनियस करंट वॉट इज इंस्टेंटेनियस करंट इंस्टेंटेनियस करंट इज नथिंग बट द अमाउंट ऑफ चार्ज पासिंग थ्रू ए कंडक्टर एट ए मोमेंट द अमाउंट ऑफ चार्ज पासिंग थ्रू ए कंडक्टर एट ए मोमेंट इज नोन एज इंस्टेंटेनियस करंट इट रिप्रेजेंट विथ ई इक्वल ई इंस्टेंट इक्वल्स टू डी क्यू बै डी टी डी क्यू बै डी टी ओके ई इंस्टेंट इक्वल टू डी क्यू बै डी टी अंड वन मोर डेफिनेशन ईज टाइम एवरेज करेंट वट इज दट टाइम एवरेज करेंट इट रिप्रेजेंट एज ई एवरेज दट ईक्वल टू ओके द टाइम एवरेज करंट इज डिफाइंड एज द टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ चार्ज पासिंग थ्रू ए कंडक्टर इन ए टाइम इंटरवल आर यू नो वॉट इज टाइम इंटरवल वी विल टेक द टाइम इंटरवल बिटवीन टू इंटरवल्स टी वन एंड टी टू फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू टेक वन कंडक्टर हियर ओके नाउ द चार्ज मस्ट बी फ्लो फ्रॉम हियर ओके हियर वी विल कंसिडर एज अ टाइम टी वन एंड हियर द चार्ज मस्ट बी फ्लो अप टू हियर इट इज द टाइम इंटरवल एज टी टू द टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ चार्ज पासिंग थ्रू ए कंडक्टर इन ए टाइम इंटरवल इट इज नोन एज आई एवरेज इट विल बी रिप्रेजेंट एज आई एवरेज इक्वल्स टू डेल्टा क्यू बाई डेल्टा क्यू बाई डेल्टा टी डेल्टा क्यू बाई डेल्टा टी आर वन मोर क्यू फाइनल माइनस क्यू इनिशियल क्यू फाइनल इंटरवल माइनस क्यू इनिशियल इंटरवल बाय टी टू माइनस टी वन सिंपली क्यू वन क्यू टू यू कैन टेक इट लाइक दैट Q2 minus Q1 by T2 minus T1 like that. I average equals to delta Q by delta T or QF minus QI by T2 minus T1. The average current, the total amount of charge passing through a conductor in a time interval. Okay, clear? Huh? These are all. main basic definition is it suppose if current passing through a conductor that current must be we will treat it as n number of particles n number of particles passing through a conductor in a time interval t then average current then average current i equal to instead of q already we know if number of uh, number of ions will be passed may be positive or may be negative you can treat it as q equal to plus or minus and e in first topic already we learned in electrostatics okay so i equal to n e by t i equals to n e by t for this one one more time i will repeat that what it is if n particles each having charge q passing through a given cross section area in a time t it is as i equals to n e by t or n q by t what you can write both are correct if electrons will be taken na n e by t 
if charges will be taken then you can write as m cube by d both are same okay now are you follow these are all now we will discuss about if a point charge q is revolving in a circle of radius r with speed v then what is the time period for it what i am asking if a point charge q is revolving in a circle a point charge q is revolving in a circle of radius okay that radius will be as r with a speed v then it's a time period are you know what is the time period basic formula what it is time equals to distance by velocity now the particle must be traveled from one point to and again reach the same point along the circle then what about the distance for it it is nothing but 2 pi r so time period t equals to distance by velocity the distance will be along the circle it must be 2 pi r by velocity v okay this is the time period for revolving electron okay r one more by using the relation of with angular velocity v equal to r omega already we know that v equal to r omega we know that from that v by r equal to omega r r by v equal to 1 by omega instead of these two we can written as okay t equal to 2 pi by omega 2 pi by omega this is the point charge revolving in a circle of radius r with speed v its time period is t equal to 2 pi r by v or t equal to 2 pi by omega clear huh? suppose what is the average current what is the average current associated by revolving electron in a circular orbit or in a circle what is the average current how you represent how you represent that it must be current i equals to general formula q by t now t already we measured how much it is t equals to 2 pi r by v so q by 2 pi r by v so that q v by 2 pi r q v by 2 pi r okay in terms of frequency in CET or neat level if suppose charge given frequency given then how you write to calculate the current i equals to q into 1 by t 1 by t is nothing but frequency f so i equal to q f clear if a frequency will be given in the data problematic data then i equal to q f okay f is here frequency suppose in terms of omega they will consider angular velocity given in the problematic data then current how you write already we know what about t t equal to 2 pi by omega suppose omega data will be given then how you write i will take this one very simple i equal to q by t this time will be I will written as time period capital T now capital T equals to 2 pi by omega in terms of omega so how you write now I equals to I equals to Q here instead of T what I want to write 2 pi by omega na? so 2 pi by omega this omega will move up then I equals to omega q by 2 pi omega q by 2 pi charge given angular velocity given in the problematic data then we will measure the current like this okay these are all basic fundamentals 
about the current and finally can you define one ampere in pu level it is most most important question can you tell any one of you what is ampere now i want to be define the unit okay what is the current unit ampere can you define it can you define it now now ampere is how you define if one coulomb of charge passing through a cross section of a conductor per a second then current is said to be 1 ampere what is it current already formula you know that i equals to q by t so here if any unit will be want to be explain these quantities are must be unity unity means q equal to 1 and t equal to 1 means 1 coulomb of charge what it is 1 coulomb of charge must be passing through a conductor in 1 second okay then the current flowing in the conductor we can define as ampere then the current will be said to be as 1 ampere okay these are all basic fundamentals about the current electricity now upon these concepts we need to be do some problems okay that problems are that problems are first problem a total of charge i will write the problem please note a total of 6 into 10 power 6 electrons electrons pass through any cross section any cross section of conducting wire of conducting wire of conducting wire per second per second a total of 6 into 10 power 6 electrons passing through any cross section of conducting wire per second find current find current now can you measure i will give you one few seconds to measure that first of all we need to be know about uh, number of electrons passing through any cross section of conducting wire per second time interval given per second so we need to be measure average current if you want to be measure average current what is the formula for it delta q by delta t first we need to be calculate about delta q how you calculate delta q is nothing but n e what about n value here how much it is 6 into 6 into 10 power 6 what about charge of electron 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb we learned that. so now it is delta q as how much its value 6 into 1.6 how much 9.6 so 9.6 into 10 power minus minus 13 okay 10 power minus 13 okay clear na it is nothing but a charge now time interval will be given as a one second so how i want to be right i average is equal to delta q delta q how much 9.6 into 10 power minus 13 by one second so i will treat it as 0 0.96 into 10 power minus 12 okay that means 
I average is equal to 0 0.96 10 power 12 means how much how much it is pico so pico ampere like this very very small current okay or 0 0.96 into 10 power minus 12 ampere this is the first form first problem are you understand are you understand are you note down are you note down the total 6 into 10 power 6 electrons passing through any cross section of conductor y per second find the current so average current we need to be measure i average is equal to delta q by delta t delta q is nothing but n e so 6 into 10 power 6 into 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 so total delta q charge is 9.6 into 10 power minus 13 coulomb now i average is equal to 9.6 into 10 power minus 13 by 1 second now 0 0.96 into 10 power minus 12 ampere 0.96 into 10 power minus 12 ampere okay clear huh? now we will discuss about the second one we will discuss about the second problem second problem if q equals to if if q equals to second problem if q equals to 2t cube plus t square plus 3t plus 6 okay in it first point we need to be measure find instantaneous current find i instant instantaneous current instant means a particular second na? so at t equal to 3 seconds at 3 equal to 3 seconds second problem in it only second bit find average current find average current find average current from average means a time interval la? so from 0 to 2 seconds what is the problem are you understand if q is 2t cube plus t square plus 3t plus 6 find instantaneous current at 3 equal to 3 seconds find average current from 0 to 2 seconds okay now first of all we need to be measure instantaneous current how you measure it instantaneous current so first point we will take in i instant i instant means what you can write the formula for it d q by t t instead of q what we have here we have one equation what is that so i will write here Okay, I instant equals to d of r d by dt of 2t cube plus t square plus 3t plus 6. Now how you write? Now how you write? Differentiate that equation. So I will write like this i instant equals to okay d of 2t cube by dt plus dt square by dt plus d3t by dt plus d6 by dt for a constant it will be 0 so it will be 0 okay so here this power will comes to front in differentiate formula already we know that so what you can write i instant equals to 
ओके सिक्स टी स्क्वेर प्लस हियर टू टी हियर थ्री नाउ आई इंस्टेंट एट विच सेकेंड थ्री सेकेंड्स सो आई इंस्टेंट एट थ्री सेकेंड्स एट थ्री सेकेंड्स दट इज सिक्स इंटू थ्री स्क्वेर प्लस टू इंटू थ्री प्लस थ्री हाउ मच इट इज सिक्स इंटू नाइन हाउ मच सिक्स इंटू नाइन हाउ मच अरे नो नाइन सिक्स आर फिफ्टी फोर सो फिफ्टी फोर प्लस सिक्स प्लस थ्री टोटल सिक्सटी थ्री एम्प हाउ मच इट इज सिक्सटी थ्री एम्प ओके सिक्सटी थ्री एम्पियर क्लियर ना आई इनिशियट हाउ मच सिक्सटी थ्री एम्पियर now second bit we will do what is that i average here time interval given so how you write i average equals to delta q by delta d delta q by delta d or one more formula already we knows that q of 2 seconds minus q of 0 seconds because of time interval given 0 to 2 seconds so q2 or q final minus q initial already we discussed that so like that we will write now time interval t2 minus t1 okay now we need to be measure q2 how much q2 charge at 2 seconds charge already we have here one equation how much it is 2 into okay t cube instead of t cube t value how much 2 seconds na so 2 into 2 cube plus okay 2 square plus 3 into 2 plus 6 how much it is 2 cube means 8 8 twos are 16 so 16 plus 4 plus 6 plus 6 total charge will be how much here It is nothing but twenty, twenty, thirty-two. Okay, total it have thirty-two. Correct. Okay, thirty-two ampere. Now Q of zero seconds. Two into zero cube plus zero square plus three into zero plus six. Now it is nothing but a six ampere. Now substitute in it. Okay. So I average equal to I average equals to Q two Q two how much thirty two amps. So thirty two minus six by two minus zero. Thirty two minus six how much? Thirty two minus six how much? How much it is? Subtract the thirty-two minus six. How much? It is nothing but twenty. So I average equals to. I will write here. I will write here. Last step. So I average equals to thirty-two minus six means how much? Twenty-six by here two. Nothing but. Thirteen amps. This is this is average current. Okay, are you follow? Next, one more problem. One more model. Are you follow? Shall I explain one more time? Clear? Okay, good. Next, third one. Next third one. If I equals to t square plus one, find find charge flow through charge flow through. 
a cross section a cross section between between 0 to 4 seconds and also find and also find and also find number of find the number of find the number of electrons flow in this time flow in this time very simple sum i equal to t square plus 1 i equal to t square plus 1 Find the charge flow through a cross section between 0 to 4 seconds. Where to where? 0 to 4 seconds and I will be t square plus 1. And also find between time interval. Eh? So which we need to be measured. Okay. Now we need to be measured. 0 to 4 seconds. So I equal to we will write general formula i equal to d cube by dt now from this one d q equal to this dt will i will take here so i into dt okay now integrate both sides because of between 0 to 4 seconds na so integral d q equal to integral I instead of I what I want to write here I have one equation na? so t square plus 1 into dt from 0 to 4 seconds okay 0 to 4 seconds what about dq integral dq means nothing but q so q equals to here I need to be right explain that one integral this formula can I explain so t power 2 plus 1 means t cube by 3 plus dt means t clear so 0 to 4 seconds now i will substitute that q equal to 4 cube minus 4 cube by 3 plus 4 minus 0 cube by 3 plus 0 okay these are all nothing but 0 clear between two time intervals means the first final interval will be substitute and then after next interval okay now 4 cube how much 4 4s are 16 16 4s are 64 then q equal to 64 by 3 plus 4 minus 0 clear what about 64 by 3 how much its value can you know approximate it must be 21.3 3 will be here two times here on so approximate 21.3 plus 4 total charge will be 25.3 coulomb okay now charge came and one more we have find the number of electrons flow in this time we need to be calculate number of electrons how q equal to ne q equal to ne number of electrons we want so n equal to q by e what about the q value 25.3 by 1.6 into 10 power minus 90 what is the fraction value can you know 25.3 by 1.6 how much are you know can you know it must be nothing but approximate n equal to 16 into this 10 power minus 19 will move up 10 power plus 19 so approximate actual value 15.8 like that it will come but in problematic we will discuss approximate 
n is equal to 16 into 10 power 19 electrons okay fourth problem next we want to discuss fourth problem in hydrogen atom in hydrogen atom in hydrogen atom electron moves electron moves in an orbit in an orbit okay in an orbit of radius 5 into 10 power minus 11 meter okay 5 into 10 power minus 11 meter with a speed of with a speed of 2.2 into 10 power 6 meter per second calculate calculate equivalent current equivalent current calculate equivalent current okay in hydrogen atom electron moves in an orbit of radius 5 into 10 power minus 11 meter with a speed of 2.2 into 10 power 6 meter per second calculate equivalent current okay if any electron will be revolving in a circular orbit okay how we will write already we know that radius given speed given already we derived one formula for the current also what is that i equal to okay i equal to q by t by d is nothing but qf frequency r we will write one more okay t will be distance time and reno distance by velocity so i will write q distance by velocity so velocity will move up velocity by distance in a circular orbit it is nothing but 2 pi r previous already we learned this formula i equal to qb by 2 pi r now i equal to what about the charge here electron what about that electron so i will write v by 2 pi r into electron e okay what about velocity given i equal to velocity how much 2.2 into 10 power 6 by 2 into what about pi value 3.14 into what about radius value radius of power sir they will give 5 into 10 power minus 11 into charge of electron how much 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 if you be cancel all it must becomes as i equal to 1.12 after subtraction of all 1.12 into 10 power minus 3 amp or we can written as i equal to 1.12 milli amp clear in a hydrogen atom, electron moves in an orbit of radius 5 into 10 power minus 11 meters with a speed of 2.2 into 10 power 6 meter per second. Calculate equal current. I equal to Q by T R Q F R Q V by 2 pi R. I equal to V by 2 pi R into E. So, V value 2.2 into 10 power 6 
by 2 into pi value 3.14 into velocity, uh, radius will be 5 into 10 power minus 11 and charge of electron will be 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. If we calculate all these uh, i equal to 1.12 into 10 power by this 3 amp. Okay, i equal to 1.12 milliamp. Okay, these are all. If you have any doubts, sir. Okay, once again, these are clearly and this one. Tomorrow, in next class, in next class, we will discuss about drift velocity. Okay, thank you.